All right, so we're going to talk about the danger of the new Reval bars. All right, this is a safety warning if you give sport your new S Works SL8 Tarmac Speed Sniffer. Um, you've downgraded from the SL4. The SL4 is an up, rim brakes an upgrade, so you've downgraded to the SL8. Be careful with these carbon bars. They're very, very light, and if you do crash them, you should replace them. Right? If your bike falls over, you probably should replace the carbon bars because when your bars fail, it's no good. So this is this comes with the little uh, this comes stock, right? Just put a KRBM 45 in there. Very, very good race mirror. Not this is a race bike, but we're trying to make it one. Um, so these things go in here. All right, so when you when these are done up, make sure they're not uh, too tight, okay? What you want to do, otherwise it's going to ex expand. It's going to expand and crack your bars. It's going to go, and it's going to cause spiral delamination up through here. And then, boom, you hold on the drops, and all of a sudden your bars will just snap. And your dentist will be visiting you. They're probably riding the same bike, dentist bike. Uh, so what we'll do here is we're going to use these are really good, really really good uh, Allen keys, Bond House, made in the USA. All right, and they're just they're really sharp. Okay, so they don't round out stuff as easy. So basically, you just got to stick that in there. Like we did at your mum's place last night, and then you're going to make sure there's not too much tension in there. I'd say, you know, one, you know, that that's okay. Like. This has been set up by the shop or the factory, so they've done a good job, all right? So if, if someone's, like, winding it up, then there's a chance it could crack the bars, okay? And then you have to... This, this part here will be very dangerous to, to have, have put your weight on, so be careful with these. Probably a better option is don't even... Maybe take these out in case someone else down the track does them too tight. Just put in your standard... Your, just bog standard ones. Um, no, spot has got them as well. Damn, this works got them. These are the bars ideally I'd like to have on this SL8. This is another video, basically, but we'll do two for one today. Give you a two for one bonus video. These bars would be better because these Reval bars are pretty flexy, all right? If you're putting down the power, they're reasonably flexy. So something like an FSA compact alloy bar is going to be way, way stiffer. Way, about similar weight. You've got to you pair it with like an ITM stem. I've got this like 20 bucks in sale, 10 under sales, uh, 130 mil. And the problem with these, this is a 110 mil. It's a little bit short for me, but if I want to change the stem, I've got to deal with the brakes and it's just an absolute faff around so we'll just you know what these bikes aren't really that customizable for bike fit but if you do want to get a proper bike fit on the sl8 just put some standard bars on there you know standard stem standard bars and it'll be a lot stiffer it'd be around the same weight but it'll be a lot stiffer lots a lot stiffer and a lot safer if you have a crash and stuff like that so that's how to upgrade your bar setup uh, on your sl8 there you go done deal just uh, yeah, well, just gonna, okay, it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, that was a bit close. There was a bit of a uh, sexual uh, harassment in the workplace, I reckon. You know, what I mean? just because you're the OnlyFans girl and you pay for this bike doesn't mean you can touch me like that. Yeah, it does. That, that wasn't appropriate at all. I don't want to put it in a complaint. Anyway, I, I feel quite, quite uh, vulnerable right now, guys. Okay, I feel, I feel very, 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 very vulnerable. Deep breathing, in and out, relaxing. Oh my god, I'm going to get Brittany Higgins on the dial. That's going to deal with the situation.